Lawyers for Liberty has strongly criticized Youth and Sports Minister Hena Yo, accusing her of providing a misleading portrayal of the proposed amendments to citizenship laws for Malaysian mothers with overseas-born children. According to the organization's director, Zaid Malik, Yo's remarks were not only deceptive but also failed to address the genuine concerns raised by various stakeholders, including civil society groups, human rights lawyers, the Bar Council, Suhakam and Sampakat Harapan MPs. Zaid highlighted that despite promises from government leaders to address the plight of Malaysian mothers, the citizenship bill was not debated or passed in the recent parliamentary session. Instead, the Home Minister announced its readiness for debate just moments before the session's adjournment, indicating a lack of genuine commitment to the issue. The criticism comes in response to Yo's positive assessment of the government's move to table the proposed amendments, praising the Madani administration's political resolve in presenting the bill to parliament. As a member of parliament, um, when I campaigned, we spoke about let's right this wrong for Malaysian mothers, Malaysian women. That was my priority. And so we uh, managed to table that in parliament. Um, no matter how fierce the criticism is outside, nothing will change the fact that it is this unity government that brought the, the bill to parliament to give Malaysian mothers that equal opportunity and right to grant citizenship to their children born abroad. However, the deferment of the debate session for the bill, as noted by Zaid, was characterized as a mere charade and a blatant misuse of parliamentary procedures. Zaid added that thousands of stateless children born abroad to Malaysian mothers would not benefit from the bill, despite Yaw's assertions. He highlighted that Clause 12 Bracket 1 of the bill stipulates that only children born after the amendments are passed will be eligible for citizenship. He insisted that the thousands of existing children in this situation would be left in a lurch, portraying a cruel and absurd scenario, especially given the government's initial promise that the constitutional amendment would aid these children.